Hi guys, it's Anna here. So in this video, I am going to show you how I draw noses. <laughs> so there are a different, different types of noses and different ways of drawing it. Of course, you cannot absolutely look at the reference and start drawing it just by looking at the shapes and their values but there are kind of there's this method that it's like you draw one one circle a smaller circle and a smaller circle and then this would be the nostrils place <laughs> i guess and this will be the 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 shiny shinier part of the nose this will be it will have some shading underneath and then some shading here and some shading in here and here because this connects to the skin the, the skin like the nose is skinless <laughs> This connects to the, um, the face, per se. <laughs> this is a really good at English. But yeah, there's that. Okay, so this is going to be very bright and light. And this might be bright in this too, but not as bright as this part. And then you have like the, the rest of the nose. The cane of the nose, we call it cana do nariz in Portuguese, maybe it's <laughs> kind of the nose. Um, yeah, I should have looked and, and, and pretend to be very smart. So there's a little a little shading in here usually because this is the the part that is, is most protruded and hence receives the more light. Receives more light. And this would be like a little shadowy because it, the nose casts the shadow and then there's a part in here that is like between the eyebrows it kind of opens a little bit and it's it's darker too because of the planes of the face and you can add a little shadow in here and in here, like to make it look rounder, you know, like, and yes, I am doing it with a pen, with a pencil would be maybe better. <laughs> okay, so this is a type of nose. You can see it's a nose and nobody's gonna say otherwise, maybe. <laughs> Maybe an art teacher, I don't know, never been to art school. So, but this will be like the darkest parts where the shadow is more evident. Like ear, 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 and ear, and then the nostrils, of course. And then it will be some sort of shading here because, I mean, the nose, the nose casts shadow. And then we have that, that little part before the lip starts. And there's a little shadow there. And then the upper lip would go in here and do this. There's usually a rim of light right here that I almost always forget. And then you do the, sh the lip shape, right? And that's the upper lip. This is the bottom lip then you shade it okay usually usually the upper lip it's darker than the bottom one and it's it's darker near the where the lips touch usually something like this and then the bottom lip it's very dark in here too because it's casting shadow and then the chin starts okay and then here you can usually see more of these stripes of the lips maybe a little lighter area we're not we're not talking really about lips here so just doing something to 
to illustrate how it connects with the nose and okay something like this it's not very and then the brows would go in here the high brows <clears throat> sorry i'm i'm a little sick today <laughs> uh let's see. so i'm gonna do both sides and then the eye would go here like i've done a, a, a high tutorial so it's it's the the last longer video so if you're interested you can check it out and then then you do the high res and then do the pup pupil okay and then you kind of see this is a, a nose right another way to do it and the, but this the problem with this method is that the nose is, is is going to be really round every time you do it because you start with the no with a with a round shape right you can start with other shapes if you want and that would change the that would change the the format of the nose but uh there's another way <coughs> of looking at the nose it's like planes planes of the nose it's you start with this part too it's like between the eyebrows and then there's this plane the plane that faces upwards and then there's going to be another plane here and another plane here that connects to this first plane and then you know everything below that is going to be shadow okay so the nostrils will be down here somewhere <laughs> and this is the part of the light this part this light up part here okay so in here you're gonna have like the the shadowy part this is gonna be maybe the nostrils are a little bigger and because you know the nose there's this part in you can see your own nose there's <laughs> there's that's a good reference and you're gonna make this this is the part that touches the skin you're gonna make it round a little bit because usually the nostrils are in here and there's this little lighter part too although it's it's in shadow it looks lighter because it's next to the nostrils it's not looking good is it <laughs> it's because of the shape of the nostrils but you get the idea and then this part is that part that rounds and then goes up and this plane is in shade and so is this one okay this is another way to make the nose this is gonna be as you can see you have to make it rounder or it depends on on, on your on your subject the subject you're painting right it's the same thing just to understand this way it's easier when you have to turn the nose around this is this is messy i am do, i'm not doing <laughs> well here but just know the nostrils are in here and just just make this like you can even think about this shape and then try to understand where it, what it is in here you know so this would be a nose. I mean, the nostrils are horrible, and I already, <clears throat> I already. Let me try another color. Let's see if it is that, because it's darker. So it's gonna make like everything else. Okay. Just to make sure you're looking at the reference photo. 
because the nastros are, aren't always this dark if they're darker like on this upper part and then they get a little lighter towards the 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 the, the outside of your nose and this part goes a little lower and that will depend on the nose you're drawing by the way and the lighting i'm saying this is shadow if it's the light is directly um like coming from above or and even when it's it's a front light it, it always gets like shadow here and there's always a little shadow and this is the shadowy part and so is this and connects to that shadowy part And then your roof. Same side, same thing on the other side. Maybe sometimes the noses aren't some symmetrical, so you have to see what you want to do. If it's just a cartoon or a character you're designing, it's probably symmetrical. If not, you have to see the photo. And it's very important if you're um, drawing a portrait of a person. If it's not symmetrical don't make it symmetrical because then it won't be recognizable it's that it has to have that recognizable factor you know so then you shade it and you shade and then it starts that part that goes to the lips and once again it depends on the light there's a little shadow here and then the shadow is just meet up and fill it up here and then there's this shadowy part it's going to be shadow because it's the the corner of the eye this would be like the eyebrows they start like going up in here and then they start laying down <laughs> And then this upper part is growing inward, this lower part is going inward too. So, and then you have the eye, of course. The eye will be somewhere around here. The other eye will be here. And the distance between the eyes will be another eye. So that's nothing, but we're doing noses today. Well, we've done, we've done it. I know nothing else about noses. <laughs> <laughs> and when they turn, if you find the photo reference, so this is going to be a little shadowy. When you turn the nose around, if you keep this method, this is going to be harder. You can do it too. But this method, like if the nose is on, on the side, what you're going to do is like, you know there's this plane it's the nose and then the other plane with the brows um, between the brows that's why it's it's shadowier <laughs> it's darker <clears throat> sorry i'm about it. because it's on this plane and this is on this plane and this makes you understand things so much better so this would be like if you call it this uh one two three four before this here this line would be the two <coughs> sorry <coughs> and this <coughs> the three so this would be like the, making it rounder right if my camera dies on me and i it wasn't i'm sorry so what i did i, I stretched this I made this plane and then this would be like the shadowy part so you're gonna have to have a nostril here this is the tip of the nose right here you can make it rounder or usually it protrudes a little more because that's why it's shinier this part here and then this is <coughs> sorry <coughs> 
and then the skin comes around and this is just the part of the nose does it look like a nose it does not <laughs> Oh my god. So there's the shadowy shadowy beach here. And this part, because this part is about this plane is coming on this side. <clears throat> and then it's very dark in here because it's touching the skin and this is where it matches that other part there. This is weird. <laughs> this is so... Oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> that is weird. Okay, so wait. So understand this. This should be the widest part because the light is coming here. So this is going to be light. This is going to be lighter. And this is the side part. This is number three. So the light will be in here and I painted too much. So this should be the darker part, okay, and this should be darker because this part is going around like and touching this, the, the skin here, the, the skin of the face, so the nostrils will be somewhere around here, this will be the tip of the nose and then this will be all in shadow. And this should be lighter here that I, I didn't I didn't do that. Let's do another one. <clears throat> Let's do another one. I'm gonna make a, a red one. So there's this plane and then we go down and then there's the tip of the nose. That is going to be this round rounder part. And then we have like this part here. So if this is the ball, this ball, and then it's going to be like the shadow on the tip of the nose. This part here, I'm just drawing this part here. And then it's gonna have the, the nest the nostril here. This part, and you're gonna see this part here comes from here because this goes around goes around something like this okay and then it's gonna start going up so this is the plane number two this is the plane number three this is the four this part here is going to be in shadow and then this is gonna cast a little shadow here and this is gonna have like a little shadow because going around right it's going to be darker near its skin because the light can't get there so it's going to be the darker part okay so this is going to be like this looks like an astro but it's not this is almost three quarters but a, a three quarter we would see like a little bit of that this, this is not what i want to do now so yeah this this should be the side nose, if you need me. And this obviously is going to be shading, shall we shade, shady? <laughs> Can we sh shaded? <laughs> Why am I singing like Cinderella? I don't know. Does this look like a nose? Not really. It's this part because it's going to, you know, okay. You're gonna have to like, you know, this there's more shadow and then you connect it to the, you know, the, the rest of the face. There's that, the rest of the face. Because we, we usually don't draw just um, a nose hanging in there, right? So then and always, always, but always look for a reference photo. Okay, if I had my Posca pen or something, I would do the, the highlights, but you get what I mean. This is going to be like the round tip, the part. This is, it casts a little shadow, then there's a little light, 
but not as bright as that one and then it starts to making it rounder and rounder and it, it, it gets really dark <laughs> okay it doesn't quite look like a, a normal nose but then okay <coughs> sorry <coughs> now three quarters yeah it's gonna be weird okay so uh and always use a reference photo mainly if you're starting because it's really hard <laughs> so three quarters like turning the face to the right or right or is right so first of all we draw this shape this is the plane number two okay and then the plane number one is going to be very thin because we can we almost don't see it and this one this plane number three it's going to be very visible so it's going to be bigger okay and then we just round it up so you can have like the shape and the tip of the nose and whatnot so <clears throat> it's going to be number three number one number four and this part <laughs> that should be it I mean, when you're drawing, just don't draw these, right? You can actually draw these, maybe not these parts, and I don't know. But don't draw these, just make it like... Unless you're drawing with pencil, then you can erase it. Okay, and then... I'm gonna have some shading in here. And a little bit of shading in there. And then the nostrils, nostrils are gonna be here. And here we have this little tip of the nose and the base of the nose, and then we're gonna have like this. Now it's gonna be round. Now and then we're going up and. I think it should be more <laughs> prominent and this is going to be in shade okay this should be rounder so don't don't if you're doing with pens don't make like a very don't make a, have, have a light touch when you're when you're doing I'm really starting out like the shapes are really dark and it sh they shouldn't so that way you can't uh, you can't like make them disappear <laughs> they're always visible very visible okay but then this would be like the shadow and that's part of the mouth that i don't know how you call it <clears throat> no little shading and and you know that the shades are always darker near near the, the the rest of the skin of the face comparing to the other part of the skin then we make like this lips just to make you there's this little thing and then this thing goes like so like a little mustache that's ridiculous <laughs> we have a bigger lip down the, the bottom lip is is thicker and then you have a little shading the, the the upper lip is always depends on the lighting of course but usually because if you see it on the side and we're not doing lips this is going to be pointy this is going to be pointy and it's going to be like uh like so and the light would be going this way so it gets the shadow and the other part is going to be rounder maybe fuller you know and so there this part is going to be lighter maybe some rays of light are going to hit it so this part of the lip is, is, is slightly lighter than this one, it's this to this, 
and this one is usually like lighter here and a little darker here because the light doesn't get in that's <laughs> as simple as that and then you have shadow again under the the lip and then the chin Sorry about that. That's a huge, a huge chin, chin. Actually, I need to get away. Anyway, you know what I mean. So back to the nose. Then you can do a little shading. You can also, if you're using a pen or whatnot, you can do these directional lines if you make it round. Very kind of gives it like more of a, a round feeling. And then some people have like these very very like not straight noses and full of reference the reference is going to help you a bunch why am i doing the lips again i don't know so um yeah this is what i've learned from uh, oh god i don't know i'm gonna have to learn the lips i know the lips from the front and the side it's just not good they should come here because this is the part you know you do this and then the little thingy and then this go here and there's a part coming like so if you try to understand it 3d it's it, I'm, I'm not I don't have a photo reference i'm just looking at what i drew here and i drew this without the photo reference because i've done it so many times <laughs> so and then kind of it's it's this part is just round it's just round and up so yeah the chin is not cool but if you go and like make this line the line you like more 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 evident then it looks better so there's a little shadow here but then this is this part's going to be lighter like here and then this is going to be darker again this part it's not gonna have that much light this corner here this is rounding it's like this part of the nose it's rounding so this is the darkest part and then this is little lighter and what and the lips always have those skin it's like stretch marks but they aren't but they're they're the the extra skin that lets you let you smile <laughs> oh extra skin the extra skin that makes you smile in this case they let you smile otherwise ah oh, the lips would just break oh god the pain yeah then you can do chips which is pain so this would be the, like lips we weren't i wasn't supposed to be drawing lips but here you go <laughs> well i hope you learned something although it's not perfect because i was i was drawing it myself I kind of know the the theory but need practice and i need practice so i'm gonna have to practice more and you should practice too and this is kind of with this information you can do a, a nose so and almost a, a nose too <laughs> so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it and if you could subscribe if you're not subscribed i would appreciate that so much i would really like to reach 500 subscri subscribers this year so that's one of my goals uh till next time please stay safe make a lot of art and goodbye